What's going on guys? Wait on Hookah Pack. Today I've got a brand new shisha tobacco review. Today we're going to be talking about Levu tobacco. Flavor in question, Viceroy Chai. Levu is a new brand to the tobacco market, but they're not quite to the hookah industry. They've created a lot of high quality uh, glass hookahs on the market. Um, hookah Chef actually has a review on his MP1 Junior or something like that. Um, if you want to check out something like that. They're very nice, high quality glass, very thick, very nice. Um, I've never actually smoked one, but they look beautiful and they have all the right things going for them. Um, they took that high quality and they decided to make a shisha tobacco, and that is where we come to Levu's dark blend of shisha. Levu, Levu tobacco is very finely chopped. It's actually, I think, finer than Tangier's. Um, you can see right now I'm overlaying a clip where you can see the tobacco um, in depth. It's kind of like insanely finely chopped and there's really not much juice to it. Um, they come in 200 gram packs um, in these little nice, I really like these containers. I think this is the ideal kind of container that any kind of tobacco should have. Nice little steel on there. Um, but yeah, super fine. Not a lot of juice, but um, it is a dark leaf so you can't expect a good bit of buzz with this. So the flavor we're actually talking about today is Viceroy Chai. Um, the only other chai, real chai flavor on the market is Fumari Spice Chai. So to compare it to that, I would say it's like, it is a chai flavor, but think like, when you think of chai, I, a lot of people think Starbucks chai, and chai is, from them, is very sweet. Um, it's a tea kind of thing, obviously. Um, but Viceroy Chai from Levu, um, it's a much more, it's darker. It's, it's not as bright of a flavor. It's a very mellow and dark earthy flavor. Um, and it comes across more like an actual tea wood, very dark, very musky, and those tobacco notes come through and it complements the chai extremely well. And it kind of blends together insanely well and just makes a really nice dark blend of flavor. I mean, it is a dark blend. It is a dark line of dark flavor. It's just, it is a chai flavor, but it's not as bright and sweet as something like Sumori Spice Chai. Um, so yeah, it's very good. Um, it does give me a good bit of a buzz, believe it or not. Um, but the thing is, with Levu, I only get a buzz if it's the first bowl of the day. Like, this is my first bowl and it kind of buzzed me. If it's my second or third bowl, it's not going to buzz me very much. Can't really figure out why, but it's how it is. I don't know everything. I've seen a lot of people struggling with how to pack Levu, so here's how I pack it. Um, I kind of just fluff it in, just let it sprinkle it right into the bowl. Today I'm using a Goodfellow V3. Just sprinkle it in and then pat it down so that it's with this bowl um, level with the spire using the Cloud Lotus. So a little bit below the rim just so that it has a little bit of room to breathe. It takes heat decently well but it doesn't need a ton to get going. I've got three Cocoa Earth Flat Coals, my coal of choice, on there right now and it's smoking beautifully. Overall for Levu's first forte into the tobacco market, I'd say they did a fantastic job. It smokes very well, it's great flavor, the tobacco notes Really, I've had three other flavors, Dark Mint, uh, Southern Peach, and Vice Rich Eye. Of those, it came through a little bit on Dark Mint, not nearly as much. Not really at all on Southern Peach, and it does come through on Vice Rich Eye. So, it seems to come through only on flavors where it complements that particular flavor. Like, with Dark Mint, you got kind of a nice, it was kind of like a better cane mint, where it's a nice peppermint flavor, but you got those nice, subtle, earthy tobacco notes to complement it. With this, you got a nice, earthy chai flavor, so you got those earthy tobacco notes to back it up. But overall, Levu did a fantastic job. I would highly recommend you pick this up. If you want to pick this up, you can actually check it out over at hookaheroes.com. Hookah Heroes is a new site to the market. They're doing a fantastic job with what they're doing, um, providing great quality products. And right now, you can actually catch their Black Friday sale running towards um, Cyber Monday. That's running right now as I upload this. Um, they're actually doing buy two, get one free, or buy three, get one free on tobacco. So definitely check that out. Um, it's a solid deal, and they've got a bunch of great products to check out. I highly, highly recommend them. Shipping is extremely fast, and customer service is top-notch. If you have any questions about Levu, Vice for HI, or any of their other flavors that I've tried, feel free to drop the comments in the comments below. Um, if you have any other questions, comments, or concerns, of course, drop them in the comments below. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I don't, I don't have a hand motion for that. But yeah, like, comment, subscribe. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. Have a happy Thanksgiving and a happy Black Friday weekend. Thanks, guys.